Hey Episcatorians, welcome back to the channel. So Carly and I had a fun time down at Lake Merwin. We caught some nice coconut, 12 of them to be exact. We ate a couple of them. But uh, while we were having fun at the uh, Coconut Junkies barbecue, um, my buddy Joe Adams was talking about smoked coconut. I know I've done a few different videos on smoking salmon. I did the candied salmon, which I think is my most popular video that I put out. Um, also have a dry brine method. Um, but Joe was talking about a wet brine. Sounded pretty good. So I was like, hey man, you mind if I uh, do a video on that? And he's like, no, absolutely. Let's share with people. So that's what we're doing today. I've actually never made it, um, but it's pretty simple. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to smoke some of the uh, kokanee, but you can use any salmon for that matter on this uh, recipe. Um, so to get started, two cups brown sugar, pre-measured it. We're just going to dump it in this bowl like so. And then we have two cups of water. And pour that in like so. And then we're going to do two cups of soy sauce. I'm going to turn this around so I make sure I get two cups here. I looked at this this morning, thought it might be two cups, which it is, but I bought an extra one on my way home from work just because I'd hate to have to drive back to town because I live kind of in the country. But uh, this is the basic brine recipe right here and then we're just going to stir that up and I'm going to taste it. Um, Joe's recommendation was to let it soak overnight but what I didn't talk to him about was what time does he start that overnight like is he doing it in the evening or is he doing it at noon so I'm going to kind of taste the saltiness and Take a guess for how long we should soak it. And you'll be here with me for the process, so we're gonna find out how it comes out. But just gonna whisk that together, kind of dissolve that brown sugar, get it in the solution. I'm gonna take a little uh, taste with the spoon here. See. I'm gonna guess eight hours. So, just a total guess. Hopefully I'm right, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, but yeah, now all we have to do is throw the fish in here. So, I'm gonna go to the fridge, put that like so. Then we'll get the uh, coat. I kind of hosed these off already, so gave them a little cleaning, just had them in the bag ready for today. So we're just going to go ahead and throw them in here. See how many we can get in. I have two of these containers, one kind of a square one, one cylindrical. Um, you can pick these up at uh, you know a restaurant supply store. I think they were like 10, 12 bucks. Um, so pretty cool. Yeah, this will probably this might do it just like this. And I would recommend um, agitating every couple hours, give them a little stir in there just to make sure they're getting full brine treatment, if you will. But uh, yeah, the coconut were good size at Merwin. You know, not like Roosevelt, but they're good. You know. 12 to 14 inch kokanee, so good ones to smoke. But yeah, that, that brine uh, does 10 fish just fine, as you can see there. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, rinse my hands off real quick. We're just going to go ahead and put a lid on this. We'll be back in eight hours, which time we're going to uh, put them on, uh, well, we'll rinse them, towel, pat them dry, uh, and probably put them on some racks to dry. So I'll see you in eight hours. All right, guys. Well, what's been probably a second for you has been eight hours for me. It's time to get that kokanee out of the uh, refrigerator and get it ready to uh, dry and let that uh, pellicle form. So. Here 
Here's our kokanee brine, eight hours later. Basically, we're just gonna drain this. So I'll pop the lid off. Got the uh, strainer. That drain off like so basically what we're gonna do is take one of these fillets just gonna put it on a paper towel towel pad it dry get the excess off of there just like that we have a fillet we're just gonna lay it right down here on the rack like so and we're gonna let that uh, dry overnight. Now you guys probably uh, don't wanna watch me doing that to 20 fillets, so we'll be back in three, two, one. We got all the uh, fillets padded down, towel dried, got them on the racks. And now we're gonna let them, uh, you know, basically dry overnight. I got a fan right here that we're gonna turn on and uh, that's going to help the pellicle form um, if you guys are new to smoking basically uh, a pellicle is like a, a film or kind of like a, a thick skin if you will that develops um, you know as part of the curing process and it's you know kind of gets a tackiness to it a little bit uh, a more of a shine to the uh, fillet and uh, when that's formed they're ready to go in the smoker um, so i'm just going to let this go overnight um, fish will be fine. It's got the salt in it, you know, curing the fish. So, um, yeah, we'll be back in the morning and we'll get it in the smoker. All right, guys, so it is the next morning and looks like we've achieved that pellicle uh, film and uh, these fillets are ready to smoke. But I'm going to bring this closer to the camera so you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see that shine, if you will. Maybe I can get a little backlight on this. You see how that's kind of a dull shininess? That's what you're looking for. And it's ready for the smoker. So yeah, we're going to load these up. And get the smoker fired right, up. guys, so we got the uh, smoker loaded. Nice and early in the morning here. I'm just latch the door I'm using a master built smoker we're gonna go 160 on the temperature and then I'm gonna set my time for seven hours now we're heating up and I'm gonna check this along the way the important thing is you want your smoked salmon to have an internal temperature of about 160 when it's just done went and checked on the uh, smoke fish and I just increased the temperature to 175 from 160 um, just because it's kind of raining today I don't know why every time I choose to smoke fish it rains but that's what happens so I'm gonna bring that uh, temperature up just a little bit um, it's 11 o'clock we started this smoke at 6 this morning so we're uh, five hours in, probably going to run it about another two hours. So it's looking good. I just checked on it. And yeah, next time we'll be back, we'll see the uh, end product. Earlier this morning, I think I might have said I was looking for an internal temperature of 160. Um, that being be incorrect. I meant 145. I was just thinking in my head, <laughs> I set it to 160 this morning. But I think I said that on video. So I just want to correct that. But your safe internal temperature... For doneness on smoked fish or any fish in general should be about 145 to kill any harmful bacteria but anyway um, this has been smoking for 
about seven hours. Uh, we started at 160 and then we bumped it up to 175. Um, I put a tray in there a little while, so it's running a little hotter right now, um, about 195. But we're going to check this. Um, I'll let the smoke get out of there. I got the thermopen here. Let's get one of the fillets out. Stick it in. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. 147. So we're definitely done. I'm going to close this real quick because it's smoking me out <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go grab a plate we're gonna let it cool down then we're gonna do a little taste test see how the wet brine turned out so be right back with you all right guys so the kokanee is done looks pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself but we need to try it so Let's check it out. Still nice and moist. Hmm. That is not bad. It's actually at eight hours. It's a little less salty than the dry brine that I do. Um, but you get a little bit of that little bit of you know you got the smoke but you get a little bit of the um, kind of the soy sauce brown sugar um, brine marinade that comes through just a very faint um, bit but oh yeah you know that's good that being said let me know in the comments uh, what uh, method you guys use when you smoke your salmon or trout are you using a, a dry cure or are you using a brine and if you like um, share what it is in the comments below hope you guys liked today's video if you did smash the like button also if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and as always time